football. How much of a surprise is this? I'm not sure if it's a huge surprise, uh, to be totally honest. I think the, the timing of the announcement is perhaps a bit of a surprise. Say what you want about Rory McIlroy. It's clear that he does care about the future of golf and the future of the PGA Tour. But the reason I don't think it's a huge surprise is because, well, two reasons I think really Rory has made this decision. One is is for golfing reasons. Um, he has spent a, a lot of energy over the last 18 months really being the face, the voice of the PGA Tour, fielding phone calls left, right and centre from his colleagues um, speaking to the press on, on, on the big issues concerning the world of golf. It has taken a huge toll of them. I think in the early months this year, um, his golf game had clearly suffered as a, as a result. His mental health has suffered as a result. And I think Rory's now at the stage of his career where he needs to be selfish and look after number one. He Next year, it'll be a decade since he last won a major championship. He's 34 years of age. Most of the players he's competing against for these major championships are younger than him. The vast majority of them, the likes of Scotty Scheffler, John Ram, Victor Hovland, all in their 20s. So Rory really needs to now focus purely on his game and be entirely selfish. And I think the other reason he's made this decision is probably because it's reached a stage now where there are things that Rory can no longer vote for and feel comfortable voting for. And when this merger, quote unquote, between the Saudi Public Investment Fund and the PGA Tour was announced out of the blue back in June, Rory spoke about feeling blindsided by it all, exasperated by it, that he sort of fought the good fight for as long as he can, but now he's resigned to the fact that the PGA Tour are going to have to accept an uh, um, investment from the Saudi Public Investment Fund, but he still was very adamant about the fact that he had no time for Liv, he hated Liv, he said, and he hoped that Liv would disappear. I just wonder whether, as these negotiations are ongoing between the PIF and the PGA Tour, whether it's reached the point where the PIF have demanded that Liv has to continue and Rory cannot in good faith vote for that um, they were at a real crossroads now in the, in the state of men's professional golf and Rory McIlroy clearly feels that as much as uh, much energy as he in, has invested into the future of men's professional golf there comes a point where he's just resigned to the fact that he can't do any more What does this mean going forward Jamie? Well what it means is that the PGA Tour now need to vote for a replacement for Rory McIlroy on the Players Advisory Council and those are big, big shoes to fill. It's going to have to be somebody with a presence like Rory has who, who can carry himself and sit in those board meetings and, and have the full trust, the full backing of his fellow professionals. I don't think Rory will have no involvement at all. I think Jay Monaghan, the commissioner of the PGA Tour, will still certainly use Rory uh, in a cons consultationary capacity. We'll ask Rory for advice going forward because at the end of the day, Rory still is the biggest star in men's golf. In the absence of Tiger Woods, he is the reason there are bums on seats. He is the reason people tune in and watch uh, PGA Tour golf at the weekend. So I think Rory will still have a big role to play in that. It's just no longer an official role on the actual board. So a uh, replacement for Rory is the immediate priority for the PGA Tour. Um, what Rory's involvement is going forward remains to be seen. But as I said, we're at a real crossroads moment now. This framework agreement between the Saudi PIF and the PGA Tour is at a really delicate stage where the players now need to vote for this. And there are still a lot of questions unanswered and how the future of golf pans out, how the tour looks next year, how Live is incorporated, whether it still continues to exist, it all remains to be seen.